Hi guys! I'm Christina and this is my beautiful best friend Kelly. So thank you guys so much um, for your response and all of your wonderful comments regarding our uh, video last Thursday in our shop in your closet video. So we had done a denim skirt and a striped shirt. So this week we thought we would continue and pull two other items that everyone should have inside of their closet for their essentials. Um, so we do hope that you guys, you know, enjoy this video. Leave us a comment down below if there's any other ideas uh, that you guys would like for us to pull from our closet or video concept ideas. Be sure to leave that down below for us. So if you guys are new to our channel, we hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. We make videos every Monday and Thursday night, and we also would love for you to join us over at Facebook and Instagram at Mommy's Makeup Moscato. We hope you guys really enjoy this Shop Your Closet video and get some inspiration for how you can create some really cute and fresh new spring looks for when we all get back to the real world. So for this video today, I decided to use my white pair of denim jeans and I feel like white denim is just universal with spring. So in this outfit, I paired it with um, this light blue uh, plaid shirt and even though I used a blue color, you could also have maybe a blush plaid shirt or a yellow plaid, a green plaid, just anything that has like those soft pastel colors. Um, I feel like it helps to really just keep the outfit look looking very light and casual and springy. And then I used my favorite pair of quilted white sneakers. Any white sneakers will do, but just to help kind of elongate my legs, I love using, you know, the same color shoe as the same color pants. And then also just kept it um, light with a neutral nude colored uh, tote bag. You can use a crossbody bag um, also, but this is the standard mom bag, my nude one. So the item that I chose from my closet to style for you guys is the basic t-shirt dress. And I love this piece because it really is just as versatile as your basic t-shirt. So I chose a v-neck one, of course, because if you've been watching our channel, you know I love my v-necks. Mine happens to be in black. I will insert a picture of this dress on its own, but I wanted to show you some different ways to style it. I don't particularly love wearing it on its own just because for my body type, I'm a little bit more um, rectangular and I feel like it doesn't really give me much of a shape. However, if you feel comfortable that way, it can be very cute on its own, especially if you have more of an hourglass type of figure. But the first way that I chose to style this t-shirt dress was just by taking a basic button down chambray shirt tying it around the waist to create a little bit more of a waistline and then throwing on some white leather sneakers and a big tote bag and this is just a super casual easy way to wear the t-shirt dress this is kind of like a go anywhere look and i love the color combination of the blue with the white sneakers the black and the tan together i feel like it's a great way to do black in the springtime so in this next outfit i wanted to use another uh comfortable piece which is a t-shirt and this one happens to be blush and white striped um, I believe I picked this one up from Target which if it's still available I'll link it down in the description box below you could also use a white t-shirt a black t-shirt a navy t-shirt um, and then just threw on my denim jacket I chose a light denim jacket just to keep it a little bit you know softer and more spring like um, if you also have a light chambray or denim shirt that would also also pair really nicely with this outfit um, and then you can wear this with sneakers I instead chose to pair it with some of my favorite nude Tory Burch sandals and then also once again that nude tote bag so for this next look I style my t-shirt dress with one of my favorite items in my closet which is this military inspired cargo utility jacket. We have featured these types of utility jackets in so many of our videos, and that is because they're just such a staple piece that you need to have. So this one is my absolute favorite, and I recently found it online um, again. So if I can still find some more available, I will link this particular one. It's super lightweight, soft, and comfortable, but there are so many great ones. So I'll link some of my favorites for you guys. 
and it basically can be layered over anything. So the t-shirt dress is perfect to layer underneath the utility jacket. And I just paired that with some tan mules that I really love and a little crossbody bag. And I feel like this is just a very cute and easy casual look. So for this next outfit, it might seem a little bit dressier, but really it's not. All I did was pair my uh, blush tank top with a uh, pair of white jeans. And this is a, like a little bit of a silkier fabric, um, but just thought this is a very, very basic and very easy outfit to put together. So even though I'm wearing a blush tank top, you could also use, I have a baby blue one, or you can also use a white one if you wanted to keep it monochromatic. You could also uh, swap out the tank top and just use a regular t-shirt. So this is all about just kind of incorporating all of those lighter blush kind of tones and pairing them with white, which is one of my favorite color combinations. And then just used uh, some nude pair of sandals. You could also use sneakers or even mules uh, with this outfit. And then also just used once more uh, the nude tote bag. And last but not least, I wanted to do something a little bit different with my t-shirt dress. So I layered it underneath this soft, lightweight spring sweater. This is a really beautiful, lightweight spring sweater with a nice deep V-neck. And I love the way it just layers over the little t-shirt dress and kind of creates more of a two-piece look as if I was wearing a little skirt with it. And I threw on some sandals and a big um, light colored off-white tote bag just to kind of lighten up the black and make it a little bit more spring friendly. So this is just an easy way you can do your t-shirt dress. You could also do this by layering over a little bit thicker t-shirt, a pullover, a sweatshirt, anything really would work. And just by putting something over it, you're able to create almost another piece and kind of use the t-shirt dress as if it were a skirt. So this is a fun, easy, casual way to do this.